keep blessing us, the Lord will keep keeping us. Of course, like um, we all know, this meeting is um, taken after the book, Through It All, Through It All, is about the story of my life, all the trials I've been through, and how the grace of God um, helped me out. So, of course, everyone that will be coming on the program, the stories, I mean, the um, theme of the program is true it all. So, they also, we'll be sharing their true it all story. This is all to encourage people. This is all to let people know that whatever you are going through, in, you are not the only one going through it. Others have gone through it also, and um, the Lord has really helped them out. And if the Lord can do it for one, it will do it for all. All right. Um, so our guest tonight, um, as it has been um, published, is, um, is a known face, is somebody that um, is well known by, um, well, maybe the youths. The older ones may say, okay, who is Zaruli? Zaruli will tell us who you are today. All right. So once again, Zaruli, um, so nice to have you here. Thank you so much. I, I know you're a very busy man. Uh, so for you to squeeze out the time, and then, of course, you gave us strict, strictly one hour because you have another program after now. All right. So I don't take days for granted one beat. All right, so let's start, uh, really. Uh, Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I always like the way you do your own, the natural way. <laughs> All right, uh, really, let's 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 start. Um, do I want to say who is uh, really? Let's start with, okay, so who is uh, really? And then... I really go ahead and tell us who you are, what's your story, what's your background like, and um, how did you get to this point that um, almost everywhere you turn, we see a relay, you have your own film, uh, The Call, and I'm still going to ask you if The Call is a story of your, is it a, an adaptation of the story of your life? Or it's just something that you and Ashiri just decided to do like that. And then, of course, you played a very wonderful role in a gold statue. Gold, gold statue. All right. Uh, I've, called, I've forgotten your name, the prisoner in gold statue. You will tell us. All right, I really, so let's, let's start. Um, the first time I was going to actually see you um, was November 1, 2018. Um, as I was about to enter for the um, ELC, Excellent Leadership um, Conference, you walked by, and then we tweeted, oh, that is our only oh, number one is here, Christian. He attends... Um, uh, they start. I said, oh, really? Uh, now I have your reason to always listen to him. So, Arely, um nice to meet you. Thank you. So, who is um, Arole? Your real name is Toyin. So, let's yeah. start from that. Go ahead. So, first, I must say thank you so much for having me on this program. I really appreciate everyone listening <laughs> and to our host, Mr. Kola Olugodi. God bless you. God bless your awesome family. Uh, very great, great initiative. So my name is Baegunoluatun. Baegunoluatun. The Baegun is my surname, and the Oluatun is my first name. And at this time, I've been Bola. I hail from Ondo State, uh, Karia Koko. Precisely, my mom is from Ekiti, uh, Ekiti State, and I'm from a family of three. So three guys, one girl. I'm the last child. And uh, I studied, I grew up in Ibadan. So my primary school was in Ibadan. My secondary school was government college, Ibadan, GCI. Then I went to my tertiary institution at Obafemi Law University. Oh, the greatest apparently, mm -hmm. you know, by now. I shouldn't be saying that great effects. 
best investor in the world. I think that uh, that is so, not a debate. Supposed to say great. So I'm supposed to say great. <laughs> yes, so great. You are the greatest bag bag. At the Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's only great in that. <laughs> And the others, so, all right. So, you know, I started uh, the career. I've, I've been I've been a very funny guy since I was young. But the whole comedy thing started from when I was in the uni. Hundred level, two hundred level. All I right. organized show for students. They would laugh. So I've been called that really from when I was in the university till I finished. And the media played a vital role in bringing the brand out for people to really know. I guess the next work is uh, funny. It can be anything network. In Nigeria, I don't trust it. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry, you can go on. I, I think my internet um, went off. But anything, when it even comes, it might not be done. Anything network in this country, I don't <laughs> trust it. There's nothing like being there abroad, Nigeria. You can be using. The network and it will hit into another person's network somewhere else. And just, ah, make sure it's interesting. <laughs> All right. I, I think I lost you when you were at the greatest bag band, the uh, greatest go go. Greatest go go. Yeah. So I said I started the comedy thing when I was in the university, 100 level, started doing shows. Then I built the brand, you know, God help me with some couple of my friends then. And after I left school, that was when it was the advent of the social media. I know, and God used that as a tool of bringing my craft to people, give me that exposure. Mm. All right. Uh, you seem to be rushing the whole thing. Um, please take us through, take us through, um, take us through the breakdown. You understand? I want a story, not, not an outline. No, I, you know, I first of all gave you the summary of our role first before I tell the story. <laughs> all right. So that when I'm telling let's, you, let's let's story. take it from Ife. Oh, so, so, yeah, let's take it from Ife. I knew that were there were some issues when you were back then. You want to take us to there that point? Of course, the point for that is to make everybody know that no matter the challenge you face in life. It doesn't determine where God is taking you in life. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take it. And of course, mind you, um, I really, I have to say so part of the people I always desire to ensure we talk to I'll, I'll actually, go to the um, as actually youths that always believe um, there are always issues here and there. So please mm -hmm. take us through the story. So for me, yeah, the story of Ife, Quite interesting. I entered 2008. Yeah. You know, everybody will enter with an anticipation that, you know, they would do well first class. Mm -hmm. If I matriculated, I knew I would fail in this school. I just knew. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Connor, no joke. So I knew I would fail. This is why. You know, people say I'm, I'm coming in for first class. I came in. I, I, my parents wanted me to study pharmacy, so they gave okay. me about chemistry. Anything chemical is not my thing. <laughs> Bro, chemical is not my thing. H2SO4, uh, CH2CO3, these are just things that I don't even see them. So, you know, we entered school, the whole thing started going, sir, by the special grace of God that I serve, I didn't need faith. It was. It just came through. My first exam in school, I failed. I knew it. Something told me. I really, you can't disappoint me. You that you did what heck three times to fail in university will not be an issue. It's a lie. So that was where my audition. <laughs> that was where my audition started coming from, Mister Kola. You know, 
I got bath. I had the first F. And as God will have it again, he's faithful. He's faithful. He will not leave me without a testament, another half. Out of the abundance of his faithfulness, I knew it. He can't leave. Oh, uh, I said when I was entering school, some of these school. So, you know, my first year, first, you know, first semester was all piece of ruins. I had, I had two Fs. I think one E, then my elective. My elective that does not add anything to the value of my GP. That one, B, A. You know, so it was the whole of ruins. I was mocked. I was really cold. It was getting, it, from under level, I knew I was going to have an extra year. And something was telling me that it might not be an extra year. It might be extra, extra. <laughs> so it was that time that, you know, the whole comedy career thing came through for me. I just felt that there was something more about my life than the science I was going to do. So, so that was why, you know, I started developing myself in comedy. I'll come to, to my room. I remember I, I was at ETF and I would crack jokes about my failure, talk about my parents. So my friends were laughing. They would laugh like they might want to fall from their bone down. You know, I'll go to the female hostel, crack them up. So one of my friends told me, say, guy, you had you have this comedy thing. I said, I know. So work on it, develop it. Mm. So from there I started watch, watching clips. And this is where the part of you might you might have a talent, but you need to move that talent to a skill. Most people okay. stop at talent. It's not enough to be talented. You can be a talented musician, but you must be a skillful musician. You might be a talented, well, you know, instrumental, instrumentalist. You must be a skilled instrumentalist. You know, you can be a talented comedian, but you must want to be a skilled comedian. And that's where training comes in, research. So what is comedy? Which side of comedy do I want to do? Am I doing stand-up comedy? Am I doing sitcoms? So I think I, I converted those my period of failure to my process of growth. Okay. Wow. To my process of development. To my process of, you know, and I was going for shows, doing a lot of stuff, cracking people up. And from there, from there, it became more, I started failing. The failure started getting much more, very much more. And by the special grace of God, something remarkable happened to me that it was a testimony I crossed due to low GP. I crossed. All right. So that was what took you to psychology. Psychology. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, but the Bible says all things work together for good. To them that love if God and work according to God. If you were a very good student, maybe the the, the uh, comedy side of you will not really come out. Yeah, it won't. It won't come out. All right. Okay. Uh, so the whole thing started from... Tell us more about the comedy scene and Ife. And then before we now talk of out of Ife. So what did you say? Tell us more about this comedy side of you and the uh, great Ife. So... Were there shows or was it just your friends? By God's grace, I, I organized three shows. One at P Theater, one at Amphi, two at Amphi Theater. So, you know, I started, I started from going to anchoring student dinners, 5,000 to 7,000 to 10 to 15,000. And I got a big break in my career, 25,000. <laughs> What a very big, big, great. No, no, Roy, Ulubodi, you are laughing. At that time, I was a big boy. You don't laugh, me, man. <laughs> you don't laugh. Man. Uh, all right. Okay. Boy, you should know 25,000 as a student. You know what that means. It's, there's a week in our school, they call it Osek Beraga. Man. Man. <laughs> I, was, I was the staff of, my, of the school at that time. You know, so then I organized shows. Then it got a time, any show in Great Ife, I really, I really is not there. So, you know, Great Ife is a funny place. Some people say it's not funny. This, that, that. At times we are cracking jokes. Some people say, you explain your joke. You could say, hey, one day a guy was walking. The, the audience will reply, where was he going? I say, oh, God. <laughs> 
Say, <laughs> so he bought a clothes. Who sell out for him? <laughs> Can you, you know? So all those things they call them a class at comedy show. So you know, they 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 ask questions. We had the hour boy. I like ah. So I was okay, you know. Ah, if you know funny, we will throw you something. So you had to. So those things trudge. You know, I became very small. So, so, so that was how all the journey was going. Okay. Um, okay, you studied psychology yes. and um, expectedly it would be, people would have thought that when you graduate, you maybe you go into clinical psychology or something else. Um, why didn't you even try any career in psychology and then, and how did you know that even after school is going to be this um, comedy that you're going to do? So reason being that firstly, I find joy in comedy. I find happiness in it. And I've learned that I was going to go for whatever makes me happy. So it wasn't hard for me to just follow that path. That's first. Secondly, I felt psychology is, you know, the study of human mind and mental processes which environment and I just knew I was going to use the idea of psychology, you know, this, what I learned to boost what I, who I was. You get, mm -hmm. and I know that comedy is also a form of therapy, but I knew that mm -hmm. happiness was key for me to make people laugh. is just natural. It's just innate. I don't realize it. It's spontaneous for me. Then I also knew that by the special grace of God, if I should serve at all, I'm not going to serve federal government. I will serve either at MFM or Redeem. That's not All right. Um, that is over So <laughs> even when my feet had graduated, you know, I was the only one, I feel to an extent I was the only one that, you know, they used to dance 400 level dance. I did, I danced 400 level dance twice at different departments. You don't understand? <laughs> I dance <laughs> wait Roy you need to understand this thing I dance for the level dance with my biochemistry mate that the temple I dance for the level dance with my psychology people ah! my lecturer asked me oh God, how many so I wore FYB twice FYB wow. two times wow all right, so that means and that I you actually concluded. I don't think the academic team was. Not. So you concluded about chemistry before switching over to so psychology. I you know what I did when my mates were graduating. I will now borrow clothes because I was already in psychology to go and dance with them because I entered with them. I must <laughs> dance with them. Now <laughs> I know that that's the way you cross; they reverse you back. So. My mate in 200 level, I was in 200 level. Someone in 400, I'll be in 300. So I double down. Wow. All right. Now let's, let's, you, you said you were going to start either an MFM or a gym. Tell us your, tell us your salvation story. So God helped me with that. I gave my life to Christ when I was 16 years, 16 years old. At MFM. Yeah. I'm an MFM breed person. My background of, of, of religion was from my great grandma. My grandma was from apostolic faith. Okay. So I passed from apostolic faith. Those guys can see. Now, then to my mom. My mom had Christ apostolic job background. So from apostolic faith, I moved to CAC. So from CAC, that's the prophet, prophet team, I moved to Mountain of Fire. Okay. So and from Mountain of Fire, my journey down to this star. Okay. <laughs> All right. Can I had a taste uh, of it in another ministries like that? But I gave my Christ to Christ, my life to Christ at the age of 16. And that was a redemption camp. Then from there, started journey, knowing God. But when I was in the uni, I was already, you know, I was already, already a Christian. In fact, I was at the workforce at MFM. Then I also went to a church in town, Sanctuary of Hope. Wow. Wow. I'm sure, I'm sure many don't know that side of you, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, 
Now let's take it live outside campus. So when you left campus, take us the journey from the Aroli living campus um, to the Aroli now known. Take us through the journey. Ah, so that journey is tedious. That, that journey was tedious because, you know, in school is different from out of school. Mm. New people, new appeal, character building, attitude. You need to be refined. And I went to stay with one of my boss in Lagos. Nobody knew me at that then. But this time was very instrumental to my growth. I can't forget. I went to DLA. Okay. This Sorry, DLA for people that don't know? Easter Leadership Academy. Okay. I was, I think it was set 25 or 21. It was called Setup. It was an amazing platform for me. And I started doing jokes in the, at Daystar. At our graduation, I did some jokes. Then they started calling me for Caro. Then I met Reverend Sam, you know? So then I went for different competitions as well. Stand Up Nigeria, I went for the audition. Um, also, Alibaba January 1st concert, spontaneity concert I went for it, the first edition so I was just trying out opportunities I was building myself making sure I was meeting people okay. but what really gave me the break was the internet and I just did the video my video went viral and I kept at it so people were saying oh is that prophet is that prophet is that prophet so that prophetic brand just stuck and people are saying join it today all right um what what you mean is that um, no, even the Alibaba team, you didn't tell us what happened. Did you win? Ah, so I won the semi final, but I didn't win at the final. So there was group. So the group stage was semi final. I won. Um, it was great with all the guys. I was first by the final because there were also very good guys there. But before that time, people were already knowing me from the from the media, from Instagram, from my skates. Okay. Go on, sir. So you know, the momentum was gathering gradually. Then this thing that now brought me how Ogo, the Ogo University thing, Ogo Ife is bigger than Ogo Su, Ogo oh, Okay. Yeah. That, that was but, a controversial thing you started. Exactly. So that one just boom. And then the uni learning student replied you. And it was the so student fun. replied you. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that means controversy has a way, controversy rather has a way of oh, uh, yeah. pushing 100 percent So you decided to be a controversial character. Exactly. You know, I, I, I watched that video and I was going to ask you some of the things they were saying about you, you didn't feel anyhow. You know, some of them were actually insulting you or rather abusing you literally. Yeah, I get you know, as he has a human merchant, you know. A lot of critic and as not just human merchant in life, if you look, you should be looking at negativity of people, you won't move forward, you won't create anything, you will be down. You get so you just need to keep improving yourself, keep creating. So we take it lightly, even football, for example. Some people can take football personal. Say it's Chelsea, you know, the way some people take football with, ah, material, ah. Some people say I think they own the club. Ah, he me material Ronaldo. He didn't buy Ronaldo. He didn't buy Ronaldo. <laughs> Didn't buy Ronaldo. It's the club that bought Ronaldo. So, you know, so that's how people take a lot of things past now. So, you just know how to address people, relate, and just build yourself. Okay. All right. Um, I know people are curious. How did you enter into this um, Wuli Arole? I think, I think you were just Arole. It was when you left that um, you had uh, the Bummy size to eat. <laughs> yeah. So the Wolif came in after school. Okay. I was already in school. I really, I really, I really, I really, I really, I really comedian, I really comedian, I really comedian, I really. But Wolif came in after school. One day I just created the content. And I just said, let me just wear this garment kind of thing. Then another thing was I was used to prophet from Christ Apostolic Church and how they pray and how they do what they do. So I felt that a prophet means a messenger. So I could be a messenger in Ilmo. And, you know, and that, so that was how we really came, you know, to be our, our prophet, pray, speaking positive stuff. I felt I could pass message across to people. 
in a funny way, prophetically and sane. So that was what birthed that part. All right. Um, and, um, you know, like, like your robust, we say, um, Alabon, what Dagbada? Oh, now you are you are actually becoming a prophet in real life. Is it not? Is, is it oh, not? So me, like a lot of people, this particular question you asked, a lot of people ask me. The, the people, any the, there's no interview, they don't go to this side here, yeah? they've not done interview. So the real prophet thing is this, yeah. Why growing up? I realized something and I told my mom. So when I say stuff, it comes to pass. And I have the ability to see beyond the two eyes and listen beyond the two ears. Where I was young, even before comedy at all, why young? And my mom had told me, oh, you're a promised guy. When I was young, sir, when I say something will happen, it would happen. It doesn't shake. Mm. It does not. That was comedy aside. I could just be with my mom. Even when I was in MFM, my group that I really love to join was prayer unit. So I'd had the gift of the prophetic, no man. Till now, you know, God just has his way of doing his stuff. Is this not my first time of praying for people? When I was in school, my friends would tell me when I really is playing, he's praying. He's playing. But when he's praying, he's praying. He's praying. So yeah, I play, yeah. And I know, and I know, and I know the thin line. You know, I know the thin line. So the thing about it is that so when the Wulia really thing came, to people it was as it was joke, you know, like which was true. I was doing my comedy, I was conscious of the gift I had. So that was why if you notice my jokes, I don't till now. So when I started my career, I don't abuse men of God, I don't blaspheme about God. I know I won't you won't see me do those stuff. You would not see me do it. I don't abuse elderly people. I make my joke clean because I knew that I, I had an office of the prophet which was prophetic. So the comedy gave me a leverage for the gift. So in as much as I'm a comedian, I, I understand that I pray for people, I pray for myself and it comes true. And I don't also joke with that. So in as much as I'm working on myself as being a comedian, I'm working on myself that the fullness of God in me comes to pass. I don't just joke away every time. So that's it. So there, there, are, two, there are two sides of Wulia Reli. There's Wulia Reli that is a comedian, as we learned like a real prophet. You know, that's, that's why I actually admire you, um, Arole. I, and then, of course, I see that um, that charity side of you. Oh, you know, yes. That, that I, I always love that side of you, you know? Picking somebody by the road, somebody you've never met before, and then using... Um, or leveraging on the followers, the number of followers you have on Instagram to help people. I, I know that that's the, that's the Christian side of you that, that's always playing out. You know, the, the one I think I love most, that your senior, that you went to um, federal government college together, and you met selling uh, fish yeah. by the roadside. Do you want to tell us about that? So, so I met him. I was driving in Badon. I just, you know, he's my senior. If I was my senior, uh, in on the street, I, because I, I I grew up in apartheid Badon, and I saw him and I, I you, this is you. He's trying to struggle with life. He's selfish by the roadside. And I said, if you do you mind me doing a video for you, say, oh, I appreciate he's married. You know, life has, you know, treated him in some kind of way, but I had to pull himself together. Mm. Why I did that video the fact that he was doing what he was doing with joy. He did see himself as I'm selling fish or I'm selling to people who call him. And had, you know, I was moved. And I felt that I could, you know, and that took him to another level. You know, people reached out to him. Some gave me money. Some gave me advice on how to brand his fish. He now sent it outside Nigeria. Quite amazing. Very amazing story. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, <clears throat> now I I wanted to I want us to start shifting gradually away from you and then align you. Um, let's go to a master class now, so to speak. Um, All right. 
you found fame on Instagram, so to speak. Yeah. I know many people doing businesses, young people trying to be um, entrepreneur, um, people have businesses, they have products, and um, they are struggling to sell. Now, I want you to take us through how you, how, are you, are you with me, Warule? Really? Yes, I want to charge, my battery is a bit low, so I want to charge it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so I want you to take us how um, YouTube and Instagram led to who you are today, or rather the start of or the set up or whatever set up of what you had today. Tell us that and then use it to school people that have been struggling with, okay, I have um, this product. It's so wonderful. People say it's so nice, yet I don't know how to push it out. So this question you asked is very deep and I'm not sure we can... Um... In fact, we can't we can, we can finish it in, in 30 minutes or one hour. It's a class on its own. But this is what I want to say. The social media is has brought a world together in one space. We need to know that. You need to know that it's a place where people that in need meet people that have what they need. People that are in need meet people that have what they need. Now, it depends on the peculiarity of your product. Some product is not Instagram, it's Twitter. Some is not Twitter, it's Facebook. And if you go online, there are a lot of... Um, there's anybody that really want... I recommend anyone that wants to really use the media well. Search on Twitter, search on Instagram. There are some courses you can take on how to place that button because you need to know about these things. So if I say that Instagram is the way, yours might not be Instagram. It depends on what the product is selling. Another thing I want to say is, no matter the product, people will gravitate towards skill and talent. I won't stop talking about that. Any young person listening to me, you must advance what you're doing. A lot of people are doing what you're doing. You're not the first doing it. I'm not the only content creator and I'm not the first. So why would people say they want to listen to Arely? They are on Arely's page. Why should people patronize your fashion design? Why should people patronize your food? Excellence cannot be overemphasized on any of those platforms. Satisfaction of your client is very important. People should have a feel of you. You are an experience. You are a feel for people. Because a lot of people do advert branding, you get the product is zero. Let me give an example. People say they are selling Tiger Nut. Let me give an example. You said Tiger Nut. We buy the, your Tiger Nut. It's only Tiger that we see. No nut there. Zero, only tiger. And other people are selling the same tiger, not again. People will buy those other people. So the media should not be an opportunity for laziness of people that are idle. No, it's an opportunity. But more importantly, you need to know that this thing you are doing is good. Then collaboration is important. If you have a friend that has followership, tell your friend, put me on your WhatsApp story. Even WhatsApp story is powerful. Can you please put me on your... You might not have the money for influencing yet. Learn to collaborate. Learn to seek for help. Look for people that are doing similar things you are doing. Study them. How do they do it? And that's just a brief of, of, of the summary of the masterclass on it. But first, excellence sales. 100. Excellence. Excellence sales. Um, <clears throat> somebody said you should take us through more of your rough times. And maybe the way I want you to take us through it, um, just animate how um, the struggles you had, and then of course, the story of that Instagram. You, you know, it wasn't the first time you were going to post on Instagram, not the second time, you, you understand? I know people that have posted and have been posting on YouTube for, like 100, 200 uh, posts, and then they were having 220 views, and suddenly they did just one video, and then boom, it went to 2,000, 
They did another one, 100,000 views, and then the next one was going to like 500,000, 1 million views. You know, I, I want you to um, take us, animate that period from when you left school, the Alibaba competition, you, you understand? And then of course the Desta Leadership Academy thing. Let people know how, it wasn't as if it was a straight jacket thing. You, you understand? Please, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I keep emphasizing that, but that is what some people need. Because many say I relate today, and people already say, ah, we wish our life is as straight as our role's own. You know, we wish our role's mother and our role's father were our own father. Things will not be bad for us this way. You understand what I'm trying to say? There are people yeah, like that, it, that, you know, at times when I talk, people will say, uh, what are you saying? You, you bolanly. You understand? People want to know the things you went through to become whom God has made you to become today. I want you to address those people that see the end product and they use the end product to, um, as it were, castigate and run themselves down. You know, like I always tell people, people will see me now and they will say, ah, God, make me like Kolo Lubodi. And I always tell them, I love that your prayer. But if you want God to make you like all of nobody, then you must be ready to take the cup I took from yeah. age two to the age I am now. And then you can become like that. Starting from you be a disabled, I mean, you have disability, you will have everything running down, you know. So I want you, um, Arole, use that part of your story. Please help me emphasize it, if, even if that's the last thing we're going to do before we leave. Please help talk to So people. this is where I'm going to start from. OK. Um, this is where I'm going to start from. I'm from a normal background, very important. Average parents and the quiet old. My dad is 81, my mom is 71 years now. And I'm 31 years. So if you do the math, they gave back to me when they were old. Now, this is it. I think the only thing I had with me quite great enough was just my willpower. Mm. My power not to give up. And God. Great. Great. I had my willpower. I had the fact that I won't give up. And I had God. You know, I'm one guy that my mom is going to send me 5000 uh, to sustain for a whole semester. You know what I'm talking about? So not like I had everything all pieced together. That's what I said when they had when I had twenty five thousand from a show. It's a lot of money. It's big money. It's really, really so much money. So life continued like that, like that for me. Continued like that. Continued like that. So when I was leaving school, you know, career in school is different from career outside school. That was how I started looking for. I started looking for opportunities. How can people know me with this craft? The game outside is a different game. But one thing I never did was giving up. Like when the Alibaba thing came, I didn't win the final. The second or third day, I created the content. So I feel that a lot of people just try it once and they want to give up. You tried once. Some people have tried 30 times. They're not giving up. If you give up, you mess up. There is a popular guy that sing, sang a song. He's in Yoruba. But permit me to use it. Say, oh, so God. Oh, Joe Buck. I'm sure Roy Olukodi will know that song. I'm sure. And too soon, oh, God. And too G, oh, Buck. Meaning, if you sleep on it, you dull it. If you wake, you get it right. So you can't sleep on your dreams. You can't sleep on that career. You cannot sleep on that business. It might not look like it. We didn't look like it. Even till now, we still don't look like it. We're still going to be bigger, greater than this. But irrespective of what you're going through, you will. Muslims will say, Oti shall not be correct. It has happened to a prophet before. 
Because a lot of people face a little challenge and they keep crying all over the hill as if you are not the first guy. You are not the first person that won't have money from Monday to Saturday. It's not you. There was a time I was in the university, I didn't have any money on me and I needed to travel for a show. I begged on the road before. Corporate beggar. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Baigon Toy. I'm sorry I came to you this close. I'm from Obafemi Law University. Can you please be sick? Uh, uh, you know, I mean, I approach you and I'll be smiling. I'll even crack door for you. Say, you look good, sir. The guy might want to run. I am not. You don't need to run. This is my ID card. And I show them my ID card. Like, but please, I'm going to Lagos. I just need um, a bit of stipend. Ah, but I'm going to go a bit of stipend. Oh, my fault. <laughs> a bit of stipend. Because I knew that that show, I needed to get there. I did a lot of shows in Lagos that I wasn't really even paid that, like that. There are a lot of content I've done, I've created that didn't really go viral. So the one that even went viral, I didn't know was going to go viral. Consistency. You see, the devil is consistent. God is consistent. It's an insult if you that you're Somebody is listening to this. Just go ahead. Just go. You get what I'm saying? God is consistent. The devil is consistent. So it's an insult on you, human, if you are not consistent. If there's anything I can draw from my journey is that factor. Prayer is consistent. You need to be concerned in prayer. You can't pray once and, and because God did not answer once. So you stop praying. You say pray without ceasing. So you walk without ceasing. So you create without ceasing. You, you don't stop. You don't stop it. Look at Messi from Baca to PSG. Look at Ronaldo. So people don't attain greatness just by, no, it's not done that way. You've called God a liar. You've called him a liar. You know, there are times that from this start to home, I just have 500, 200 naira, and I won't miss Wednesday program. I won't miss, miss Sunday program. My day start leadership academy was functioning, you know. All that phase of my life did not miss. I wasn't known. Even when I, there was a time that people had known me on social media, I didn't have a car. The, you know, I was coming from one radio program. One of my fans parked beside me, wanted to carry me. I ran away. I said, Are you, you want to use me for money, Rishwa? Glory that I have not even attained. He said, I'm your fan. I said, Really? He said, What you online? I said, oh, that you identify you. I'm from Ibadan. If you carry me and they are looking for me, that was the guy that introduced me to Uber. To Uber. He said, No, there is an app that I can order a car from here to that place. I say, I will never order it because I'm from Ibadan. <laughs> I said, Sir. I said, Does the devil know me? He said, The devil doesn't need to know me. I laugh. I said, Blood money. <laughs> Blood money. <laughs> so, you know, so it's a journey of a lot of turns, a lot of time we go for. It's not every time that. We get the ovation from shows. And at times the show, people really laugh. There's no money to go back home, you know? Now you've made people laugh. Now you're back to the reality of who you are. You know? But you need to keep at it. Now, the same humor we've done it, and I think it has taken out outside this country. In this same humor we've got in mind. In this same humor we've been recognized within and outside the country. In this same thing, God is blessing us. In this same humor we've made are millions and it didn't look at look like it at a time so i'm going to summarize the whole of my story into consistency into not giving up in everything please it's very key from the alibaba to failing you know i know most times very hard when you fail you want to withdraw but when you fail you go back again keep retrying all you need to know is that you are in this thing for this thing. Is your passion right? Is that what a lot of people can also be consistent in rubbish? Is that thing the real thing? Because you can be consistently doing nonsense. Is this thing my real way? It's just, just you like you being consistently being a national fan. I'm not saying being a national fan is not an issue, but I think you should just have another another club by this side. Beside the Arsenal. Uh, Maybe are you talking to me? Sorry, sir. Ah, I'm very sorry. You can you can continue your consistency, sir. So, so that's just how I can just say it, sir. Thank you, thank you so 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 much, um, Arole. Thank you very much. Um, 
Is anybody asking him any question before we wrap up the show? Please just throw your question at him before we wrap up the show. While we are waiting for the question, um, I really, I've had you talk about that Instagram thing. Uh, you, pro, you posted um, the Uru baby of your life. You, you, you know, you know, say, say that story, you know? And then of course, I think that was like the skit um, that really took you beyond um, every other thing. Afu, I'm going to, I'm going to, you can come open your camera and video um, Afu and ask your question. All right, so uh, I really take us through that uh, Oru baby and uh, the gap thing and how the oh, thing went. Oh, that was my first skit. I had my phone like this. I remember that was during the election. That was my first ever. It was just a try. I said, promise, brother, I said, Eru baby, you over the election. I hear on Uncle J guy. I just posted it. Then, then Instagram was 15 seconds. Ah, I just did laugh, laugh, laugh. And this thing where things I joke with, you know, they gave me, ah, I didn't even know how Instagram work. Followership and all of that, waiting consign us, you know. People started following me with this guy. Then the one that now went viral was the fact when I was doing, but Mr. We're not a year anymore. I pop on him on Monday. What I mean, I'm not here. 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 I'm they he were said, um, a lady compiled everything. He said, "You said a lady compiled the whole sketch." Yes. She started sending she it on WhatsApp. She just blew it. She was people sent it to me. People sent it to my WhatsApp. Come, Mister. Will you allow me any more? I just can't. Will you come with me? You are ready, brother. Thank God. Thank God. I'm yeah, seeing some questions here, and I love to answer them. Oh, some of them do I answer rejection. So I've realized that rejection is part of life. People will reject you. I just, I just made a resolution, sir. I do what makes me happy. I'm not saying to everyone. Some people will not enjoy my jokes. Mm. Maybe they need another comedian. But there are some people that love me. That's why I'm on this platform because you love me. My friend, I even let say something. 80% here, Dalai Bati Fenomi. 80 is too much. It's a motive 20% to Kusile Komagbimu. Even Jesus Christ, not everybody loves him. So once I, I look at this, he said, I know my own, and my own know me. So when they hear my voice, they follow him. Um, I'll tell me, my friend, Olamide Bado. Sorry, I used to pick from this. The Shara sound goons me. So the man now goons me. Ah. But it down goons him more. Mr. Temple, even for Mr. Temple Boyo, I know you look good. I call you look good. I tell you look good. I know your people to be here. I will goons me. You know what I'm saying? My friends, I will goons him more me. So when I'm with my people, my people love me for who I am. If you don't like me, somebody else will like you. Ah, uh, my my self love is powerful. Or they were called rejection and called Kole Milori. I mean, I'm going to call it Kole Milori. I'm going to call it Kole Milori. All right. Um, Uncle Boyo, before I forget, happy birthday again, sir. Uncle Boyo, happy birthday. He, he, shares, my, he shares my birthday, so... And that was last I'm Friday. Daddy, Uncle Boyo. We love you from here. <laughs> All right. Um, somebody is where is it now? All right. Um, Ayodeji Udupe. I think you know him. He said, I want to bless God for Wole Arele. He's truly a giver. He agreed to feature at my wife's surprise 50th birthday for free. When he learned we had we had the year that we had we had the year before just being blessed with our baby girl oh okay 
after 20 years of barrenness. It was a huge sacrifice from him and everyone loved him. Um, that's, that's a good part of you, um, Arole. Uh, somebody said, um, what's your advice for youth still trying to discover purpose while in school and after school? So the journey of discovery can be linked to God. The only person that can make you discover yourself is God. India M cannot do it. <laughs> Alcohol cannot do it. So my own journey, I can't take God out of it. You keep asking God, you keep praying. I study his word. You know, it's just like building him in a mirror. He keeps revealing himself. He keeps revealing himself to you. God reveals himself to you and he reveals yourself to yourself. So the key for that for me I don't know for other people, it's God. Wow, wow. And um, well, somebody said, um, what's your concept about connecting with legend actors? Oh, all right, so I think the person is only asking, you know, there's a way you connect with all these, um, all the actors. Um, and then, of course, you tell me your journey to... Sorry, Aruba, I mean, I really... You still tell me your journey into into movie. And you know that you know is my is one of my directors in, in BCI. Wow. Uh, so how did, you, how did you connect with Tade? How did you... Um, all these films, the call and everything. So tell us about you connect with the legend and then your journey into the movie. So for me, the legend, I, I love to celebrate people. I'm a man of honor. So connecting with them was a hard. I love to honor people. Elderly people, I'm naturally attracted to them. And I see that a lot of people are not celebrated enough. Enough. So more reason why I reach out to them on my own. I, I spend my own money, use my own resources, and it's been amazing. It's just my love for the elderly ones that let's celebrate people while they're alive, not while they're dead and they can't see what we're doing. Then my journey into acting, I've been an actor too, you know, so comedy and acting were a blend for me. And by the time the old comedy skit came in, when we do content, it's acting. So it was Uncle Tadi that called me himself. I was so excited that day because the man I really respect, you know, he called me, I really, you need to do this, that one. I'm working on something. And I came on Ghost Tattoo. And I, one of my dream was to, you know, was to shoot my own movie and, the opportunity came and God just helped me to do it. So it's been in me. So it's just like comedy, comedy and acting. And since then, I've featured in a lot of movies, cinema jobs, the in law, plenty of movies. I've done with Yoruba people, I've done it in English, and I'm still working on other projects as well. Wow. 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 Um, so it's all about don't despise the days of your little, little beginning or yeah. humble beginning. Exactly. Though your beginning be small, you can't determine how exceedingly great your end is going to be. That's like, um, yeah, that's like what I can say about your life. And uh, mm. what has helped you so much? Um, you're 31 now. And um, yeah, it can't, of course, one thing I know about you is that you're an humble person. And like I've told you off camera, please let that humility keep keep backing you up. I trust you that no matter what God does in your life, um, nothing will take you away from him because it's your strength. You know, yeah. of course, um, what you are now is just fulfilling part of the purpose of God for your life. Yeah. And of course, um, you know one thing about God's purpose, um, I'm I was I, okay. I'm 56 now, and I I discovered that almost year after year, what I wasn't imagining, God will open it up and open it up and open it up. So um, when I at times I would just say, "Oh, all right, this is my call in life, or this is my purpose in life," and suddenly God will open another side that I'd never even imagined before. I know that it's only humility that can always make God say, all right, I've not finished with you. All right, I still have something ahead of you. 
So we keep knowing in part, and it keeps opening the path, and it keeps opening the path. So um, I really I can only pray for you that um, all the paths that God still needs to open for you, He will yet do all of them, and He will Amen. do them in a very glorious way in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, I, I'll need to let you go now. It's almost four. And it's Thank almost you, four. sir. You have. And let me give Mr. Roy Olugo the in your la Olumi de Ola Ali Sunday at Jibui. I'm a goose in Chole. Mr. La, the Bisola, right? Akunuga, Ola Mido Seni, Tony Olubo di, Abin Bola Lao, B. D. David Olubo me. Now you should know why you should know why I like. I've taken, uh, um, I, I, I admire you. You just mentioned it. Oh, I greet all of you. Edu, Edu Line. Mr. Prince, I don't want to add your due. Mr. Damola, Edok, Edro, Anche, and Cam of Francois, Mr. Lu, Olu, Ali, Ashenuga, Lumide, Olawale, Paul Leste, Goose Me, Olu Boy, okay, Mr. Dako. Ola Podu, you are coming, sir. Lighty Allah, Ola Lady Bola Tife, we will stay present, sir. Taiwo, Omomia, Avola B. On a book is a present. On la doja, it's no low. Presence, presence, presence. I don't live up. You will lie off. Eh, you will see. Eh, I'm for lie off. Taiwo, you are to be lover. Eh, what shall do? Present you. Present to. Present you. Eh, wait, go to Stella, Billy Kissu. Project Pila, our money presence, Temple Boyo, the caster, at the DO day, who bring that kilo to you. Thank you, Arunzi. Thank you so much, Arunzi. We love you. May the Lord keep you going in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Amen. We love you. We are inspired with your words. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so I really thank you so so much. It's really been nice. I really we love you. Okay. I really are you still here? Yeah? Are you are you left? I think he has dropped out. All right, thank you everyone. Um, so I hope we have, we've all learned from today's program. Um, it's all about lessons, you know, it's all about learning uh, from other people's journey. And um, regardless of what you're going through now, it's not going to end this way. Your story is not going to end this way. Um, God is taking you somewhere, and I can only pray for you that you will get there in Jesus' name. Of course, if you don't have a copy of my book yet, through it all, um, you can always get it on the website, cia.com.ng. You can always book it there, or you can um, send WhatsApp to this number, 08. 080-2614-3683. And for those on YouTube, uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and um, the Lord will bless us. So we're going to meet next Thursday again, 8 p.m. same time. And then I'm going to be bringing another guest that will inspire us which is our story. I have a lot of um, guests in the waiting now, so I need to just speak um, the one that will be appropriate for next Thursday. Um, I, I hope you were blessed, and I hope you were inspired, and I hope the youth here, you've learned one or two things. Um, I wish you a very wonderful um, International Day of the Youth. And from now, great things will start happening in your life. So thank you, everyone. It's been nice having you here tonight. Please do have a wonderful night rest. God bless you all. <laughs>